In this very brief experiment, we are going to demonstrate line codes using Emona Board 101, which is over here, and by means of a GW stack oscilloscope. So there are two parts to this experiment. In the first part, we are simply going to demonstrate how line codes can be generated using this board, whereas in the second part, we will induce some noise and then uh, show the effect of noise on these line codes. So coming back to the first experiment. So in the first experiment, the two blocks that we're going to use are sequence generator and the master signals. So the master signal gives us an option to select one of these signals and specifically for the digital signal, we have an, an eight kilohertz digital signal and a two kilohertz digital signal, right? The other block that we are going to use is sequence generator and in this sequence generator the important peripherals are the clock which will be as an input and the line code which would be used as an output right so there are four options of line code in this board the four options are selected by means of uh, these two switches so if the switches are up uh, they indicate a value zero and if the switches are down they indicate a value one right and for 0 0 we have a non return to 0 uh, level n or z l for 0 1 we have by phase or Manchester coding uh, for 1 0 we have return to 0 uh, alternate mark inversion that is or z ami and for 1 1 we have non return to 0 m so in the first part we are going to take uh, a jumper cable and connect the 2 kilohertz uh, digital signal to the clock Next, we will extract the cord from channel 1 of this oscilloscope and connect it with ground and with the line code. So let us proceed with this experimentation. This cable is for the later use uh, which is not represented over here so you can ignore this for the time being. So we have connected the first channel with ground and with the line codes. So as a first step, we're going to use the non return to zero L. So we have uh, reset the oscilloscope, stopped it and used uh, the time division. Next, we have a biphase, which was at zero one. RZ AMI, which is uh, one zero, and lastly NRZM, that is one one. So, as a quick summary of the first part, we have made these connections on the board, and after that, we have reset the oscilloscope, stopped, freezed the frame using stop, and adjusted the time division knob to uh, see a better picture of the results. So in the second part of uh, this experimentation, we are going to select RZ AMI, which is one zero in this switch over here. And the way to do the second experiment is by interconnecting the line code with point B in adder block. And also in the adder block, we add noise from here, 20 dB, minus 20 dB. But note that we have a buffer over here. So there is going to be a phase shift in this uh, signal. So the phase shifted version uh, needs to be uh, displayed on the oscilloscope in its original form. So we revert back the phase by using this block. Now there are two ways to uh, adjust the phase. One is by this toggle switch, which has value of zero degree and 180 degree. And the other one is by means of this analog knob. Presently we are using this knob and we have set this uh, to the minimum value anti-clockwise. The output of this phase shifter is connected to the low pass filter whose cutoff frequency is tuned by means of this knob. And if you need any gain, you can set it by this knob, right? Lastly, the output of the low pass filter is going to be displayed to channel four of uh, this oscilloscope. So now the connections are being made, minus 20 dB connected with the input of an adder, the output of an adder 
connect it with the phase shifter and the phase shifter is connected with the low pass filter and channel 4 of the oscilloscope is connected with the output of low pass filter right there is one misconnection over here uh, this should be with the line codes over here right so this will be fixed now so now we are all set note that we are using one zero that is rz ami so we reset it uh, stop the frame adjust the filter uh, parameters so you can observe that uh, the above is a waveform without noise whereas in the second waveform uh, the noise is added and you can see its uh, behavior over here so without noise and with noise attenuation so next what we are going to do is we are going to increase the noise from minus 20 db to minus 6 db that is we are going to increase the noise so if minus 6 db is used the second waveform is attenuated to a very high degree and it will be very difficult to recover this kind of a signal so again at minus 20 db uh, the patterns are very similar and there is no phase shift so lastly over here we are showing that uh, if you set this as the input or rather the channel 1 of an oscilloscope and the output as channel 4 of the oscilloscope so so if there is a digital signal at the input so at the output you would have again a digital signal but it would be phase shifted as observed over here so the above waveform is a digital signal over here whereas the lower waveform is a digital signal over here and there is a phase shift and previously we have removed this phase shift by means of phase shifter block over here for more details descriptions and performance merits of these line codes and some other line codes uh, follow the end screen of this video thank you